Hey friends! Today we're doing a puff painting. You have to microwave it just a little bit. Man, it's so fun. You get to watch it do its trick. Kind of cool. So let me tell you how to make it. You need some self-rising flour. And if you don't have self-rising flour, we've got a recipe in the instructions below how to put that together. And you also need some salt, just regular table salt and some water as well. So I've got these little cups. Listen, these little cups are great. And if you're painting with preschoolers, especially, put a piece of tape on the, on the table to hold the cup down so it doesn't move on them. And that's really helpful with spills and all of that. So I also have some stir sticks, just some uh, craft sticks to be able to do it. I've mixed a few here, but I wanted to mix some so I could show you. So it's basically, it's basically one part of the self resing flour and one part of the salt. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. So I'm going to set that down and over here, let me go ahead and start mixing with a little bit of water. So it just takes a little bit to get it going. You want it about the consistency of yogurt. So not, not too runny. And you're gonna be adding the, the dye to it as well, the food coloring. So mix that up. Good. Okay, that's not bad. So let's set these over here for a minute. All right, super easy to mix up, you saw that. I'm gonna go ahead and add blue because I don't have blue yet. See what we can come up with. A few drops of that might do the trick. Yeah, that's pretty. So when you paint with it and you're all finished, then you put it in the microwave for 30 seconds and watch it puff up. So that's pretty cool. So let's set this aside so I can show you now about the painting. I'm gonna stir these up too, just so I know that they're all ready to paint because it's kind of thick whenever you're doing it. So here's the red or the rose color. I like that. Good. Now if you when you paint these, if you want to paint using paint brushes, that's perfectly good. But if you wanted to actually use like cotton swabs or something like that, that would be great. You could give that a try because that's a different experience altogether, especially if you just do dots. Uh, to make your painting and then you see all the dots puff up. That would be super cool. Here's the green. The green's pretty. All right. So, with it being a little thick, if it feels like it's too thick, just add a little water and thin it just a tinge. Don't get crazy. Just thin it a little bit. That would be easier to paint with. All right, so you don't have to get too excited about, oh, this takes a ton of ingredients or whatever. It really isn't that bad. You could buy little canvases and stuff, that'd be fine, but really, this cardboard, white, it's, it's really great. Like if you buy at the dollar store, those sheets of um, foam board, or I'm sorry, the cardboard, it really does work great. So let's go ahead and paint on this one. I'm gonna do a stem to do a flower. So paint that down. Gonna need some more. Keep it going. I think if it's a little bit thick, it's nice. It puffs up even more and it looks great. So just let the kids know to dab it on there. It's not like painting with watercolors. It's a little different, which is all right. We need a different experience every now and then. Here's a leaf. Right. So I think you get the idea of what this this part looks like. It's pretty easy. And so now let's go ahead and put like a big center, like a big dot of paint for the center of the flower. And then we can move on to the petals. I'm going to use this red, this rose color. To make these petals. So 
all the way around. Just make more dots. That's why I was thinking maybe a cotton swab would work really good to do this since you're just kind of dabbing it. A fun experience. I think the fun, the fun part of it is to actually see it puff up. All right, I think we're gonna call this about done. Oh, how I like this. Okay. I'll just have a little bit more right there. Okay, I'm gonna be done with that. Now it's ready to go and be microwaved for 30 seconds. So if you can bring a microwave or if you have one close by, you can do that. But I went ahead and microwaved this one so you could see how it already puffed up. And of course, if you're making it a little more solid, it's really neat, but it makes such a great texture on there when it puffs up. You know the kids are gonna wanna touch that, <laughs> which is just fine. But it's a puff paint and you microwave it and it works every time. I hope you'll give it a try.